Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. My brother, you got a question? You don't got a question? What you got? What type of research? All right, what you got, my brother? Is a woman supposed to be a priest? Can a woman be a priest? Right. All right, let's get it. You know what I don't want? First Corinthians. Watch this. First Corinthians chapter 14. We can start at verse 34. Watch this. Because we got plenty of women, past. We got Joyce right. Myers. You know what I'm saying? We got Anita. This is what, Juanita Bynum or something mm -hmm. like that. Let's see what the Bible says. The book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 13, 14, verse 34. Watch this. Let your women keep silence Matter in the fact, churches. Jump over one verse. Watch this. Verse 33. For God is not the author of confusion. So God is not the author of confusion. There should be no confusion whether women or, 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 or whatever can preach in the church. Mm -hmm. But today we confuse because some people believe that they can do it. Mm -hmm. Some people know for a fact is wrong. So God is not the author of confusion. Read on. But of peace. He's of peace. Understanding this Bible and applying it will bring peace. We can start just by the, based on our understanding. Read on. As in all churches of the saints. So in all churches, let's see what it what it says concerning the woman being preached. Let your women keep silence in the churches. Let them do what? Keep silence in the churches. So does it sound like they can teach? No. What they supposed to do? Be silent. Read on. For it is not permitted unto them to speak, uh -huh. but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also saith the law. And the law says in Genesis 3.16, her desire should be to her man. They right. are not to be teaching in the church. They have no right to be Baptists, preachers, prophetesses, you know what I'm saying, up on the pulpit, bringing out scriptures, instructing the men. Then that, that's in the Bible. That's 1 Corinthians 14.35. Oh, okay. Can I get, I got time for one more? Give me 1 Timothy. Give me 1 Timothy chapter 2. Again, I want to show you something. And I want to, I want to show you why. I want to show you why. Because it's not that that this a, a misogynist book or whatever. There's not no woman hating movement or, or nothing like that. Yeah. It's order. You know what I'm saying? And we already know from our past examples why God said to shut that down. Let's read. Why? The book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 11. Read up. Watch this. Let the woman learn in silence uh -huh. with all subjection. So should they be talking? He said, let them do what? Learn in silence. Let them learn how? Learn in silence. Learn in silence. Read on. With all subjection. With all subjection to the men that's ruling the congregation. Read on. But I suffer not a woman to teach. You know what a suffer, you know what suffer means? He said, but I suffer not a woman to teach. I will allow not women to teach. I don't allow women to teach or to do what? Nor to usurp authority over the man. Any woman that's sitting before a congregation full of men and women, uh -huh. teaching them, instructing them out the Bible, that's abs that's absurd authority. That's like a, in a position of power over a congregation. God said that's not that's not supposed to be the case. See what I'm saying? Read on. But to be in silence. God said, do what? They supposed to be in what? Be in silence. This is the reason why. Read on. For Adam was first formed. So it goes all the way back to the beginning of the book. Adam and Eve were formed, right? Adam was formed first. Read on. Right. Then Eve. And then Eve came Eve. after. Watch this. And Adam was not deceived. Adam, the devil couldn't get to Adam. You see what I'm saying? Right. Who did he come to? Eve. Read on. But the woman, the woman. Being, being deceived was in transgression. So, the devil, in the beginning of the Bible, was able to trick and deceive mm -hmm. Eve. That's why he said, women, they're not going to be the ones that's going to lead the congregation because according to the Bible, they easily, they got some more on that? That was in that verse 15. Yeah, read that. Verse 15. Oh, that's it, that's it. So Adam was first formed, then Eve, but Eve was the one that was easily tricked and deceived by the devil. That's why God said they're supposed to be in subjection to the man 
as it says in Genesis chapter 3 and verse 18. You know what I'm saying? No, it should, if to make a plain, women are not to be teaching and instructing the Bible. The only thing they can teach is other women. You know what I'm saying? You know what that's at? I'm going to let that be my last scripture before we close down. If a woman wants to teach anything, this is what is all, that's all it's supposed to be right here. Titus chapter 2, and I think you should know the book. Yes, sir. The book of Titus, chapter 2, verse 6. Verse, no, verse 3. Yes, sir. The aged woman likewise, that they be in behavior as becometh holiness, uh -huh. not false accusers. Not giving too much wine. Watch this. Teachers of good things. So it says, let the aged woman also, they be what? What did you give them the top? The aged woman likewise, that that they be in behavior as becometh holiness. Watch this. Not false accusers. Uh-huh. Not giving too much wine. Watch this. Teachers of good so things. They can teach good things as the laws and commandments of the Bible. Read on. That they may teach the young women. Teach who? The young women. Watch this. To be sober, to love their husbands, uh -huh. to love their children. So that's it. If a woman wants to teach anybody, it's going to be other younger women on how to be better wives and how to be better mothers in the Bible. You understand what I'm saying? It teaches a good thing, basically instructing other women how to perfect their walk in this truth. Right. All right. So we done. Uh, give me Matthew chapter 26 and verse 6. We about to shut it down. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.